Hello there viewers, welcome back to another episode of the Great Yarmouth Tier 10 to the top save. If you're watching this right now, I mean like live now, just wait, You just you, if you're watching the series on Twitch, you know, just wait a minute. So let's round up what happened last season then, champions, we finally did it, another promotion and a promotion that led us to the Vanarama National North viewers, that's what we've been looking for, that's what we were hoping for and the players were sensational, a really tremendous season, we almost had it wrapped up really very very early on, uh, the form again early season was very good, that we had a weird mid-season patch of disappointment which I wasn't expecting and to be honest didn't see coming, it really accommodated because we had so many uh, games, the cup games as well as the league games, we were just getting tighter and tighter towards the back end of the season. And they pulled out five wins and uh, secured ourselves that uh, that promotion. You can look at the league table again. Like, it was absolutely rampant. 94 points, a massive 13 ahead of AFC Sudbury. Lewis, Braintree and Hythe just behind will contend for the playoffs. And Finley Love it once again does the business as he continues to do save after save after season after season after season game after game after game 26 goals for him now 150 goals in all league competitions now for us absolutely sensational we love it viewers we absolutely do and uh, look where great young can go from here that's the big question wait phil leader uh is is a leader on the pitch not necessarily in terms of uh, actual leadership but in terms of the performances this man puts in what a debut season for us on a free from tottenham who released him didn't want him we did 10 assists seven goals eight player of the match awards and a 7.4 average rating for him overall the team have performed admirably the finances well the fight yeah the finances are an issue, they're a big issue, and whether we can turn that around at some point, I don't know. The midfield is where the strength lies in this team, if we're, if we're being completely honest. Chris Green, Keith and Phil Leader have been superb for us this season, and hopefully it will continue. And of course, with these updates now, I will give you a mid-season update of what's happened since we've been promoted then. Nicky Cadden there, Ozzy's done you know pretty well, Finney McNabb a key player as well. You know, I can say Keith's been a superstar. Um, it's whether we can now continue this momentum into a much tougher division. And if you look at the rules here, you see the Vanarama North and South. The North Division has got some big teams in there. Teams that I'm sure you're very familiar with. The likes of Chester and Kettering and Halifax are in there. Kidderminster, of course, as well. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a real test. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how we do in that division. I'm pretty hopeful that we can put up a good fight. And uh, look, I don't know what the expectations are going to be. It's going to be tricky. And uh, right, let's move forward then. Let's see what we did. We got another promotion. The journey continues. The story moves on. But um, yeah, what came next is, yeah, I'm recording this while I know, just to be clear, viewers. Um, okay, go, go into the future, Ben. Now, when I said this was a tier 10 to the top journey, did I ever say it had to be with great... Yes, I did say it would be with great Yarmouth. Now... Viewers, this, if, you're, if you're not watching the streams and you're just following on with the, the update videos, this will seem drastic. Uh, we're now 24 games in to our season in the Vanarama National North, but we're not the manager of Great Yarmouth Town anymore. You can see Great Yarmouth Town, not in the relegation places, and this is probably where we should start. We had a big reshift of players that came into the squad and changed things around. The Finney Lovett was a part of this, but now might be with me at a different team. Um, so look. Team-wise, we actually still have a pretty good idea of how good we were. And this sums it up, really. And it's confusing and equally frustrating. Goalkeeper and defence was a problem. Recruiting was a real difficulty for this great Yarmouth team. And we couldn't seem to get the right defenders at the right time. And the players we did want, we couldn't afford. And it became problematic. And the finances were an issue. And the board got stricter with us. And we couldn't really bring players in in those areas. Whereas midfielders, we were looking pretty good. The likes of Keith left. We brought in the likes of Harmony Carr. And that, sort of, that improved things massively for us. And I felt like we had a real chance at getting to the playoffs. You know, top seven places in the Vanarama League National. I felt like we had a chance there. And then you look at the schedule and you realise that the season didn't start very well. We had a, an okay time sort of around October. But then it got to this period here where, as we kick things off, I think it was with Spennymore... Uh, we needed to get, we had a board meeting, we needed to get seven points from five matches and we lost four in a row. And when you lose four in a row, that will not do. Um, so it's obviously not ideal for us viewers and we were sacked. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. We were sacked from the job after a, a massive amount of time in the role, a win percentage of 62%. We also see Parsons winners uh, promoted from the Southwest Peninsula League Premier East champions. We got from, through from that division. The Thurlow Nunn League Eastern Counties Premier uh, champions as well. Uh, North Division champions. It's been Premier Division champions and we'd worked our way up into Tier 6 of football. And I was proud of that. Seven 
years, 150 days, and we've been replaced by a man in Jude McDonnell that so far has won one, lost one, draw one. So he's got some work to do. Uh, four league wins, a cup win in there as well. And I was thrown away. Basically, I was told I wasn't allowed to be a great amateur place in which I, I'm close to residing in. So it was it was all but my current hometown club. And when you're sacked from there, where, where's left to go? What do you do? Well, you've seen what we do. We go back to Boston. Of course, if you watched the channel last year, you'll know we had a save with Boston. I was born in Boston. My manager profile says it right there. Born in Boston. And um, they were lucky, well, we were lucky enough, really, to go to Boston. Now, if, you're, if your eyes are going all over the place here, uh, you will see. Now, you can't quite see us down in the league table if I just move my head briefly. You can see that we're just ahead of Great Yarmouth. We've played them since manager. We've had three games as, 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 uh, as Boston manager. The Great Yarmouth beat us 4-1. So, Dimmy's been signed almost immediately because of this. And, um, yeah, obviously, not great. Now, Boston are an interesting proposition. A team that have got some really like good players and and some players that I think we can definitely get the best out of. We may have already signed a couple. Dan Bagpipe, which will be confusing with no context, so hopefully you've watched the streams a little bit. And Finley Lovett has joined as well, who will be my leading man uh, up front if he actually scores some goals. If he doesn't, then we might not see much of Finley Lovett. But he has to be with me. That's the important factor in all of this. Uh, a great Yarmouth uh, legend. Where I, I was still an icon. He was a legend. That's how much he's respected there. Um, but this is what makes things rather interesting. We are a few days away from a transfer window. And as you watch this right now, as it goes up, of course, you, you know it by now, I am live on twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji as we play through the rest of the season. 2 million in the balance, 1.5 million to spend. They got new owners a few years ago, and that new owner is more than willing to put a little bit of money into the club. Uh, that man is James Prescott, local businessman, turned the club professional. Uh, they're relegated from the Vanarama uh, League North and then went back again as we were promoted. So were they. Uh, so now we both sit in the Vanarama League National. I have not gone up a division. We had an offer from Crew in the Championship that we turned down, but we decided, no, we stay here and we continue to build our way up division by division at a team that last year I had a save with and then moved on from. Went to Villa, went to Arsenal. Not this time. We will stay with Boston until they decide they don't want me. It will not be my decision. And we will see what we can achieve with the Boston boys. And it should be really good fun. If you can get a player like Marky Fletcher, we'll be loving life. Um, of course, if you want to come and watch live, uh, this was a slightly longer update video because of what went on. Please do. Link in the top line of the description. Come along. Get involved. The support on the streams recently have been incredible. We hit 1,500 viewers yesterday live watching at the same time. And uh, you can see the subscribe number on screen there as well. People are the season ticket holder number as it is. We've had to relocate to Boston. It's been a, it's been a logistical nightmare, viewers. Um, it's been incredible. So if you're a part of that, thank Thank you so much and um yeah we go again boston united we uh, look as you watch this i'm aiming for seventh when this is clipped up and used the next update video that's going to be a shame um okay but thank you for watching if you enjoy these little update videos please do drop a like on them it shows that you're uh, you're engaged and i will see you soon with love with care prince benji until next time twitch.tv slash dr benji the story continues and of course you can watch the vods as well if you want to see what happened it was a lot more dramatic than i may have said it was emotional.